What's going on YouTube? Josh here checking in. Today we're talking about the supplement beta alanine. This is a pretty popular supplement. You'll see it a lot in sold in bulk. You'll see it in many pre-workouts. And really, I think it's important to make this video because there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding about the supplement. So what exactly is it? Beta alanine is just a modified version of the amino acid alanine. Now, how is it supposed to work? Essentially, when you take the supplement, it increases the levels of carnosine within your muscle. Now, what is the function of carnosine? You see, carnosine is actually a uh, substance that acts as a buffer within your muscles. It reduces the change, so to speak, in your pH. So pH refers to your hydrogen ions, and without getting too crazy, just suffice it to say that we all know when you do a lot of strenuous activity, you increase the amount of lactic acid in your muscle. That becomes an issue because it causes you to fatigue easily. Now, when you basically reduce the effect that that lactic acid has on your muscle, the idea is that it can improve performance. Now, the point to remember with beta alanine is that it only works for a specific kind of activity. And that, that is to say, it doesn't work for short bouts of exercise. So it's been studied. Um, there was a recent meta-analysis in 2012 that really kind of put the nail in the coffin on the use of beta alanine. Basically, any activity that is less than one minute, 60 seconds in duration, is basically out of the picture for having any kind of benefit when it comes to beta alanine. The biggest effects are seen uh, basically between activities that are uh, one minute to four minutes or 60 to 240 seconds. And really anything above four minutes, there's a small effect, but really quite negligible. Now, what kind of effect are we talking about here? In general, the, the most well studied and the most established effect is basically improved endurance. So that is to say that you'll reach a point of fatigue at a slightly longer point than you would have without supplementing with this. Um, now, as far as this goes, what does that kind of effect look like? Well, in that 2012 meta-analysis, the effect size of basically improved performance was 2.85% as a median effect size of this meta-analysis, meaning they looked at all these studies and that's what they found. Basically, that comes down to a matter of, in a four-minute activity, something on the, marge, on the area of five or six seconds. So obviously, this is not really a huge deal when it comes to endurance and uh, general training. This is a relatively small effect. Does this affect your strength? Uh, will this allow you to get stronger? Well, that hasn't really been uh, panned out so much in the research. As far as improving things like your one rep max, um, things like that, really there's no evidence to support that beta alanine helps you with that. If you're strictly a power lifter, you probably shouldn't be taking beta alanine because likely you're not really doing much activity that's in the areas of 60 to 240 seconds. Now, if you're a crossfitter, if you're a rower, if you're a swimmer, if you're a sprinter, can this help you? Yes. Will it help you a lot? Probably not. In the area of how much should you take and are there any side effects? Basically, if you look at most of these studies, the total amount of supplementation is in the area between uh, two grams and a little over six grams per day. Now, most of these are either in kind of an extended release formulation where it gets slow released or taking in multiple small amounts throughout the day. Keep in mind that the major side effect when it comes to taking beta alanine is paresthesias. Uh, that's just a fancy term for saying tingly feeling like all over your body. So the first time you take this, you might feel pretty funky because you're tingling all over the place. This is completely normal and basically the way you reduce this is your body kind of just adapts to it. Uh, so one thing is just it will reduce over time. Uh, but the biggest thing is really dividing up the dosages that you take. Each time you take it throughout the day, you want to take a relatively small dose. So that is to say, if you're taking, say, three or four grams per day, maybe divide that up between three and four doses, as opposed to taking it in one or two doses throughout the day, um, simply because it's kind of that larger effect that will tend to cause uh, that increased tingling. Also, once these levels kind of build up in your body over the course of, say, a month or so of supplementation, generally that feeling of tingliness tends to go away. So, in conclusion, beta alanine basically works by acting to enhance the, your ability of your muscles to buffer acids, and as a result of that, it has a small improvement in your endurance performance. And again, the benefit is quite modest, so keep that in mind. Don't expect any magical results after taking the supplement. So anyway, guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any questions, if you guys would like to see any more videos like this about supplements, uh, things of that nature, definitely be sure to post that in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.